Today, I will pop many balloons to see how many diamonds you can actually make using the balloon method. You have definitely seen red and blue balloons before, which give normal and large gift boxes. But there's also purple balloon, which rewards with a mini chest, but it's a rare one as well. So you can see all these balloons. They spawn through all the tech world, as you probably know. And what I will have to do is pop as many balloons I can in 30 minutes, which should be enough to get approximate results for how much diamonds you can make per hour, and if this will be a good method. So I got many mini chests and gift bags already. To have clear results, I will just use one of the boxes and I will put all of my normal and large gift bags as well as mini chests. That means that all of the stuff I will get from balloons will appear in my inventory and once stack with whatever I had before. No more gift bags and mini chests showing up here, which means we can get started. I'm setting up 30 minute timer for myself and go. There are a lot of balloons here, but the thing I'm concerned about is the respawn of balloons, which may not happen too fast, and that would mean I will be able to get less balloons to pop. Many balloons at the start, and then it's just emptiness. I do feel like they nerfed them a little again, but still way more than what it used to be. There's many blue balloons, and I feel like they will be the main source of diamonds in this method, but let's see if I can find at least one purple balloon in the 30 minutes. Gone through all the areas and time to go back. Let's see if there's anything that have spawned. Well, there's one red balloon and that's it. And another one just spawned. I think I will have to wait at the spawn for like one or two minutes and only then go for the balloons again, even after one or one and a half minutes wait. I only got four extra balloons. This won't continue as good as it started because it has to respawn, which means I gotta give it some time. While waiting, I can hatch a little. And waiting counts in the 30 minutes too, of course, as that's the part of grinding balloons. Two minutes of hatching have made this run through areas better as I got 10 balloons and this is 11th in this run. I guess I can just continue the same way, pretty much. Look what I found. Three blue balloons in one area. That's three large gift bags for me just like that which worth at least 30 thousands of diamonds. The timer is about to end. I couldn't find any balloons on the last seconds, but anyway... It's time to check what I got after the 30 minutes. The number here says 90, but because of getting a potion from like reward, that means I got 89 gift bags from balloons in 30 minutes. Scrolling and here they are. I got 34 large gift bags and 55 normal gift bags and sadly no mini chests. To see total wrap, we can just put these bags in another box and it will show all the wrap from them combined. And the box says, 541 thousands diamonds. That's what I got in 30 minutes. But I had a head start with many balloons already spawned, which means this could have probably be like 400 thousands. Now using math, you could get around 700 to 900 thousands of diamonds per hour using this method. There is no set amount as you get random balloons spawned. I think this is a nice way to get free gift bags. But if you want diamonds, I would say the magic bucket method would work better and could get you more than 900 thousands of diamonds per hour, so make sure to check that video out if you haven't seen it. Hit the like button and subscribe if this video was helpful. Join my Discord server in description, and I will see you soon.